Get on your stretchy pants and your baggy tees. It's time for Thanksgiving dinner. Thanksgiving is essentially a one-day hall pass to eat as much as your happy heart desires, so why waste it by being ill-prepared? Here's how to make the most of your Thanksgiving meal. And by make the most, we mean eat the most. Feasting on an empty stomach may sound like a great plan, but shoveling down food when you're starving could lead to eating and getting full too quickly. Eat a small breakfast to hold you over without filling yourself up, and stop eating four to six hours before the main event. Exercising in the morning can also help stimulate your appetite. Go for a walk, a brisk jog, or hey, if you're feeling festive, why not a turkey trot? Now that the meal's here, all your work is done, right? Wrong. Your stomach doesn't just get full when it's filled to capacity. Chewing triggers the release of hormones and enzymes to give you the filling feeling early. Start with carbs, mashed potatoes require minimal chewing, and stuffing and rolls will break down faster, taking up less time, aka less room, in your stomach. Hit the turkey late and avoid fibrous vegetables as much as you can. Protein-heavy turkey will fill you faster and for longer. Fiber-rich foods soak up liquid and take up more room. And while we're on liquid, don't waste all your stomach space with beverages, but fluids do help move food through. Sip slowly throughout your meal to keep the wheels churning. Well, you filled yourself up. Guess that's it? Wrong again. If you can't fit a single bite more, don't give up. Take a break. The stomach can empty out low fiber carbs in 30 to 90 minutes compared to almost four hours for turkey. Get up and take a walk during that break to give digestion a boost. And if you're eyeing the dessert table, don't feel guilty digging in. Sweet foods won't make you feel as full as quickly as the savory ones you've already gobble gobbled down. Plus, there's always salad tomorrow, but for today, another slice sounds divine, thank you.